as you can tell, this community highlight isn't going to be about game footage. Instead, we're going to take a moment to talk about the incidents that have happened in the LA Smash 4 and Melee community over the past year. If you don't already know me, my name is Carbon. I've been considering talking about the story for over six months now, but I think now is the right time to talk about it. This isn't going to be a pretty video and it isn't going to be short, but I ask that you stay with me until the end because some of the actions taken by some of our community leaders should never be tolerated. I'll also be including a bunch of screenshots in the video. If you think that some of them might have been taken out of context, please go down to the description box where you find a link to the Discord where all of them happened and an Imgur album if they're just too small for you to read. If you do decide to go to the Discord, I ask that you don't comment or post in any of it and use it only for referential purposes. For simplicity's sake, I'm going to start in chronological order. I started to join the scene in October of 2016, and at one of my first events, Cody, also known as C. Falcon, um, a New Orleans TO, suggested that I make a sex tape and put it online. He didn't do this once, but he also did it a second time at an event that shortly followed that one, um, and he didn't apologize to me about it until about nine months later when I publicly called him out on what he had done. Shortly after, Lance got a message from another TO, Gabe, also known as BrawlerG31, to inform us that a member of the Melee community had accidentally leaked some of my nudes. The way the story was told to us was that there were about four or five members all at dinner, and he just kind of blurted it out, saying that he'd found them online. This story was confirmed by two separate TOs, so we took it at face value. We didn't think that pursuing a formal ban was necessary because the member who leaked them was very apologetic and appeared to truly want to amend for what he'd done. Because of this, we only personally asked him to not event attend the next monthly, and he happily complied. After that, um, Abba's tweet happened. Um, the next set of images are taken from the Discord from that day. I posted this message shortly following those, and I was I was admittedly very heated about it. I had spent the past several months dealing with not only what I talked about, but several other incidents that I won't be mentioning because I don't have the proper documentation on them, and I don't feel like I should include them in this video. As the night continued, um, the I made this comment where I requested that community members not relate losing a game to getting raped. Um, this comment was shortly followed by Gabe making this post where he equated losing a best of five to a best of five with Samsora to getting raped. Um, over the next week, he adamantly refused to apologize for it in public chat, and one member even applauded him for sticking to his guns and standing up. A lot of the community also felt that I just kind of needed to move on about it because he clearly wasn't going to apologize and, well... I just needed to move on about it. Um, several weeks later, there was a local anime convention that had a pretty big Smash 4 bracket. Um, after the tournament, I was out drinking with friends that I normally see at anime conventions, and I saw Gabe at the same bar. I decided to try and confront him about it, thinking that maybe his answer would change when we had the conversation face to face. It didn't, and the conversation devolved until I was just crying for the rest of the night. The next morning, Lance and I recalled the events to Cody, at which point he laughed at us and said that he wished he had a video of the confrontation. And I I know what you might be thinking, you know, I, I should have gone to someone who had more power or more influence in the community. And, and that was Lance. That was my boyfriend. At the time, he was the most influential TO and he was even planning the first regional for the state. After everything I've talked about so far, he decided that he no longer wanted to run his regional. And if you want to hear him talk about it, you can go check out this link to where he talks about it in his own video. After announcing this in Discord, a lot of the community members started to denounce Lance for canceling it, uh, including a, both friend of our, a close friend of both of ours who made this comment. And at the end of it, Cody came forward saying that Lance shouldn't be a TO anymore because he couldn't separate his emotions from being a community organizer. After Cody attempted to denounce Lance, I brought up that Cody wished to have a video of a confrontation between two community members that ended with one of them being in tears. At which point, he adamantly denied it and even tried to blame it on a different TO who assisted in running the event that weekend. Um, it wasn't until three people were confirming it that he eventually said this, where he called me a dumb bitch for bringing it up. For this section, I just wanted to highlight some of the comments that followed after I left from hearing Cody's comments. Again, all of these are members of the community making the comments in a general Discord chat. If you'd like to search them out, the Discord link is in the description, but I, I do ask that you not comment on the Discord. Remember how this video started with uh, my nudes getting leaked? 
Well, it was around this time that I found out that they hadn't been accidentally leaked to a group of people over dinner, but instead they were sent as revenge porn to a group chat with over 20 people in it. Um, the leaker made a group chat that had me, Lance, a friend of theirs, and Howard, a melee TO. In this group chat, they explained to us that they had been lying to us for about nine months, that they'd faked screenshots about it, and that they actually weren't the ones that posted it in the group chat in the first place. We also found out that Gabe had known that they were lying to us from the start. Um, in this screenshot, you can see that he was active in the conversation where they decided to tell me that it was a smaller incident than it actually was. Around this time, we also found a post on a 4chan board that included my nudes, the city that I live in, and some thankfully outdated ways to contact me about it. If I'd had this information sooner, I could have done something about it. I could have gotten it removed within days or weeks, as opposed to months after it having initially been posted. This essentially um, draws an end to our story of the LATOs and their mismanagements of the past year. I, at the end of everything, the TOs that I've been talking about decided to strip Lance of his community leader position and of his monthly. Um, here you can see the reasoning behind stripping him of his power. Um, and, and what I really want to highlight is that this is what happened when only two of us stood up about it and called out our community leaders on what they'd been doing. Um, past this, the, the only consequences that came from anything that I talked about was a one-week Discord ban when Cody called me a bitch. Thank you for staying with me until the end of this video and listening to my story. I, I promise I'm almost done with this. The final thing that I want to talk about isn't something that happened in my community, but instead it's a request to you. The, the person who goes to tournaments, either O2 or winning the event, the one who drives carpools, and the TOs that run 8 or 80 person brackets. Don't let this happen in your community. It's not only a disservice to yourself, but also to your fellow community members. Don't let your peers treat others this way. You can stop this from happening. No one else needs to go through what I did. As Lance and I finished this video, uh, we decided to leave out a lot of screenshots. We started with around 200, but couldn't include all of them. Here you can see a couple of highlights that we just couldn't fit in. We hope you enjoy them as much as we did. See ya.